I did not bring waders today, so I am going to be wearing these beautiful, wonderful Crocs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. So it's Peric and I today, we're gonna to be wading this little creek. Gonna be throwing a few things. Main thing is gonna be a Senko. The other one's gonna be a popper and the other one might be like a craw jig style presentation. But we're just gonna have fun today. This is a for fun video. No boat, no camera crew, no BS. <laughs> Yeah. First fish for me. Right species, just not the right size. Crushed it too, like a champ. Oh, there's one. Oh my that God. One? Decent. Uh, nope, just fighting really hard. Nah. But hard though, nice hit. Perry and I just found this nice little calm spot, this little eddy right below riffle area, and they seem to be hitting poppers. Perry just caught one right in front of me on the top water. Beautiful fish, man. Absolutely love Creek Smallmouth. See you, guy. You know, poppers in general work great on a day like today. It's about 60 degrees, clouds have rolled in, it's calm. The poppers are especially good just for creek bass in general, creek smallmouth more specifically. The smaller the popper, the better. The harder you work it, the better. It's just a really, really effective way to get some of these more aggressive fish, and it's a lot more fun too. Getting them to blow up on a little, little popper, a little wake bait is just so exciting. It just gets your blood pumping. He's got it. There he is. <laughs> I think that was that one fish. I don't think he's that big, but still. You gotta use a short rod when you're fishing close combat like this. Look at him just fighting that current. Ate that popper good too. So cool. Nice one. Look at that fish. These guys are my favorite fish to catch by far. Nice fish, back in the water he goes. There you go. Kind of keyed in on a bunch of different patterns. This guy is throwing the jerk bait. I'm throwing the popper senko. He's also, I don't know, he's not really fishing the senko. He's just kind of using it. So. No, I am fishing the senko. Look at that little guy. So cute. Oh wait, hold on. Here, here. You gotta hold like a trout, dude. Creeks like this, you gotta hold him like that. Key. That's the key. Oh, hey, bud. That's what I think. You think? I think that, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I think <laughs> oh, Ooh, that was double. Good. First double of the day. It's a trout. Oh, it is a trout. I caught a trout. <laughs> I caught a trout. We should eat this guy. I have got a little smallmouth in Peric. What do you have there? I caught a little trout. Trout and smallies. <laughs> awesome. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> and he dies. I've got your name. It's a rainbow. I don't know, but it's fighting real good. How he hit it was so clutch. It's not bad. I'll take that any day. Another smallie. 
and the slack water on that popper. Beautiful fish. That's a, look at him, just look at him go. What are you looking at? <laughs> You're weird, dude. Okay. Oh, begging, begging. They're in that slack. <laughs> Beautiful fish. And the white crocs. I realize it's kind of stupid now because I don't look cool wearing these. No. Oh shoot, he's taking off his backpack. This is getting real serious. It's a, oh, oh, another oh. one. Boil. Did you see that boil? That was, oh, that was Peric and I are getting massacred over here. That, how did he not eat that? And they just won't commit to it. I don't know if they're tiny fish or, or what, but I'm gonna catch whatever fish he just missed. You miss them on the popper, and you kind of clean up shop with the Senko, and it's like a done deal. These fish are not small. They're just... They're, they're just, just small. They're just, yeah, they're just very small. All right, what I meant to say is they're, they're capable of eating the popper. He ain't bad. Saw a little smallie. You got him? Yep. Yeah. Get him? It's decent. It's decent. They fight so much harder on the popper rod. Yeah. Not really. Oh my god, this fish is way colder than any other ones. Yeah, because I diffused the situation. <laughs> oh, baby, that was flat. Gosh, love these fish. I said you can have the shot. All right, ready? Oh, I'm gonna get back in there. Awesome! Oh! Oh my god! He's got it! Yes! That was so cool, dude. That was so cool. It's an okay one, too. Look how golden he is. Dude, there must be a ton under that tree. I think there was just a bunch that were, I don't think it was the same fish. That was so cool. Want to try it again? Yeah. Well, they don't want this thing, though. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit bigger. Look at that. There's a good small mouth. Beautiful fish right there. <laughs> Beric's got this, the line all wrapped in his head. Nice fish on the Senko. Changed up colors and uh, stuck this guy on like the third cast. Nice fish right there. I'm gonna get a quick picture and go for the release. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of sitting on the uh, bank right here and I'm casting into this pool. There's not a whole lot of current. There's a, some current that comes around the bend right here with those three big rocks. I don't know if you can see that, but there's three big rocks right there. Right there. So that's kind of where I'm cast into, right on the, uh, the slack side of these rocks, this pool. It allows me to kind of work this sink a little bit slower for some of those more lethargic smallies. I'm just kind of twitching it like once or twice and letting it sit. And then as it sinks to the bottom, I'm usually getting bit just like that. So it's pretty textbook stuff. This is such a cool opportunity to be able to fish a body of water like this, completely public. And it's just full, it's teeming of decent little smallmouth. These aren't massive Lake Michigan smallmouth, but they're still so much fun to catch, especially when you're like one-on-one -on -one combat with them in, in these really kind of skinny water situations. Catch them on poppers, uh, jerk baits, but the main bite really seems to be the Senko, and that's kind of what I've caught about, I would say, 10 fish in this pool with. This may be a case where I may have to film solely on the GoPro. I'm on my last battery here, and I'm running out of SD cards. I don't know how that's even possible, but it kind of stinks. I love filming with this thing. So much better quality, I mean, look at that. And you can do this with it. For the last few minutes of today, I'm gonna to be throwing a limited edition Vision 1 ton. 
way overkill. That's all I got to say. <laughs> they love the jerk baits and they will love this one ton. There he is. Oh! Oh! Big guy ate the 110. It's a good one though. God, dude, he crushed it. Look at that guy. That's not bad. He's got a chunk of his tail bit off though. That guy ate the Vision 110 and I believe this is Smallmouth. The color is Smallmouth and the 110 and the Smallmouth ate it. It's pretty ironic. Nice fish though. Beautiful fish. See you, guy. God, they're in that they're in that real fast current too. Who would have thought? There's one. Oh, they are in such fast current. It's like crazy. All right, moving down. There's a ton of fish over here. I don't know where AP went. He just passed up a ton of fish. There's one. <laughs> Insane. Decent one too, not too small. So, I mean, it's dank, but it's still cool. I have no idea where Peric went. He like just disappeared. There's just a ton of them in front of me right now. Peric made his way up the river while I kind of fished that fast moving area where the riffles were at. And I've now just caught up to him and found a nice little, little run or stretch with some some fish in it, some suckers, some small mouths, so this looks pretty solid. It's still throwing that one time, just fast erratic twitches, letting it pause for like a second, and there's a fish. Dude, there are so many fish over here too. Like, we've we've reached 100. We've honestly reached close to 100 at this point. God, dude, they're just loving this smallmouth 110. This is actually a bait I got at Lee's Global Tackle. Uh, actually through the the JDM only, or JDM members only club. It's a, in a smallmouth color, which is kind of ironic. Nice fish though. Okay, I don't know. Let's see how I want to do this. After catching like literally a thousand smallmouth, Peric and I are done. This is so much fun to do this, but the worst part is walking back. How many miles do you think we're, we are from the car? We're really far, like, okay, here's to put in perspective. So, Chicago is here. Los Angeles is here, uh, China's over here. We gotta walk all the way past China. That's how far we are. We're not in China though. What Peric is trying to say is, well what Peric is not saying is that we have a very far walk. <sighs> all right. <sighs> that hike was honestly pretty brutal. Um, wading in water like that with Crocs is like probably one of the worst things you could ever do. Anyway, that's that aside. Had an amazing day real quick and to talk about the two rods that I use most today. So when it came to finesse, this is the stick that I was using the most. It's a Cousins 7 foot ultralight, perfect for Senkos, and that's what I was using it for. Over here was kind of like my heavier duty setup. This right here ended up being kind of like my jerk bait rod and reel for the day. And then to kind of start off the day, it was like my popper rod. The three baits I was really using the most was a Vision 110 Mega Bass jerk bait. A, my $1 famous BPS popper, which always kills it on these creeks, and a four inch Yamasenko. I guess my one tip and my one lesson that I kind of took from today is that don't overlook some of these smaller bodies of water. But the small streams, creeks, ponds can have so much potential, especially in a situation like this. And one thing I'd stress is always leave it how you found it. This is an amazing ecosystem. Peric and I were noticing that there literally was not a single Trace of garbage, which is incredible. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty tired. We've literally been fishing all day. My arms are hurt from beating Peric on the water. Just catching too many smallmouth, he couldn't handle it. I need a nap. Did she actually fall? Oh, I thought you did it on accident. Oh, no, I did. But I fell way too hard and there was a huge rock there. That was so perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. 